everybody. So this is going to be a uh, try to keep the video under 10 minutes, maybe it's going to be five minutes. So I have a EAA Corp European. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Yep. So it means European American Armory Corporation. It is the Winter Cater in nickel. It is a, oh, by the way, it is clear for you, those that don't want to see all that. I have yet to fire this. I've had it for about six months. Um, two inch barrel. It is chambered in 38 special, but it can also shoot 357 Magnum. As indicated here on the cylinder, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's kind yeah. of weird having to turn it upside down. Anyway, so, so today what I'm gonna do, my little initial shots and thought, trying not to point it at my son because the range is behind him. We're gonna be shooting, so keeping the gun pointing in a safe direction. So we're gonna start off with some 38 special stuff. So he's already got his ears and eyes on. So these are lead round nose. I'm gonna shoot, it's a six shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ears and eyes on. So that way I ain't gotta try to do it while I'm doing all this. All right, so, so let's see, let's go, let's talk about um, the finish. So the finish is nice, it's nickel. Okay, it's not bad. Don't ever see any machine marks. All you see is the usual rubber right there on the slide from, I mean the cylinder, from it going in and cycling and everything. Um, the trigger itself is kind of squared off-ish, sort of, I guess you could say. It's not too bad, it's kind of narrow, not a huge deal. The hammer is a little, no, it's, it's kind of rough looking if you see it, no, it's all like squared off checkered it does trigger ain't bad single action ain't bad uh, lock up without the hammer back there's maybe half millimeter movement that's lock back it's roughly the same um, the grips they're rubber so you got your finger grooves cut out for that, which is nice. It, it fits my hand fairly perfect, as you can see on this side. Screw down there for swapping out your grips if you want to. And it says, you can see on this side, it's got the logo. So it says EAA Cocoa Florida, and then made in Germany slash DE, EA or whatever that means. Then they got some weird logo stuff down here. So anyway, without further ado, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to keep from pointing at my son because the range is literally behind him. And the reason we're facing this way is because the sun is also that way. So we're gonna load her up with some 38 special stuff. See how we like her. By the way, this is getting recorded on my iPhone 11 Pro or whatever that's called. All right, so you ready, sir? So we're roughly 10 yards away. I'm gonna be shooting on the far left silhouette down there. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do three single action shots and then three double action shots. See how she, see how she pointing and shooting and everything. You ready, sir? Yep. So those were three single action shots. Now we're going to go with double action. Yep, like I figured. There it is. So that wasn't so bad. The rounds that came out of the cylinder pretty good using the uh, ejector here. So try that again. But like I said, that's the thing with double action, some of these. The trigger, I don't know what the trigger weight, pull weight is. My um, little Wheeler trigger gauge doesn't really work. Doesn't really go that low. So now I'm gonna shoot these six at the far right 
silhouette down there, and they're all going to be double axing. That's pretty low. Still pretty low. Yeah, right, that's some single axing. So it's actually hitting, it's actually hitting fairly low. So I'm aiming about three quarters of the way up and I'm hitting on the lower third of the target. So there we go. So here we'll walk down here and look at the target real quick and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So I'm actually aiming up here. Cause I know it's going to hit low because you see this is the first target. So that was my first shot and I was aiming center, but because I'm not used to the trigger pull and everything on this. So I'm still hitting low, even though I'm aiming up at the top, so maybe like the upper quarter. And then this one, this is the second target I shot at. I was aiming cause I knew I was hitting low on that one. I was actually aiming roughly here and hitting here. So that was with the 38 special loads, and then I'm gonna switch over to some 357 mag loads and see how she does. About 10 yards, loading up some nice stout 357 mag. Come out, the trigger ain't horrible, you know, especially in single action. Double action on any revolver, I wouldn't say any, but most factory right out of the box revolver is gonna be. You know, they're going to be a little rough, a little heavy triggers. All right, so I'm going to go three single action and then three double action. All right, so those are hitting just slightly, about four inches below where I'm aiming. All right, so here we go, double action. Pretty low still. Still hitting pretty low. And I missed the last one. So here we go down there and check it out. Come out. It's kind of hard. It's gonna be kind of hard to see because I don't have any paint to paint over the target. So there's my first shot with a 357 mag. First, second, and I think that's the third. And then we can move over to the other target. So that was all double action or single action. And here's my double axe. I missed one of those. So I think it's this one and that one. So it's still hitting fairly low. And a lot of it has, okay, so one, they're not adjustable sights. So I'm actually having to figure out where to aim at. The front side is, sight ramp is not colored at all. There's no way to switch them out. I really adjust the rear sight. So that's probably gonna get a little bit of color like the fluorescent orange paint, but Sight radius. I don't know how much sight radius is, but no, this is comparable to shooting a micro automatic pistol, you know, like a Glock 42, 43, you know, something like that as far as the sight radius. Because the little bit of movement is going to throw you off target a lot. So we're going to go back here. I am going to load six more of these and then we're going to see if i can get a better group i'm going to be aiming at this target down here since there's no shots on it and they're all six it's going to be single action and it's going to be 357 mag all right so here we go all right so i got three left so we'll be shooting those up so all right so here goes six single action 357 mag I don't know if you can see that, but it's swinging pretty good. There we go. And we're done. All right, so let's go check that out. So we're clear. See that we're clear right there. There's all my shots. I think I'm, did I miss one? Can't remember. So one, two, three, four, five. 
maybe there's one overlapping the other one so other than that it's not bad it's just like any gun with non-adjustable sights you have to figure your hold you know what i'm saying so if you know and that's about that's only like 10 yards so like roughly 30, 25 30 feet well 10 yards is 30 feet but i'm aiming up here right to put my my tart my impacts here so that's one thing a lot of people have to practice that's why you have to go to the range and practice is to know where you have to aim to put your rounds and that's why a lot of people don't like guns period that don't have adjustable sights because of the fact that you have to offset because if you pull up and you know just instinct you're going to point where you're going to want to put the bullets have your rounds impact that and they hit somewhere else you know, big thing is get on the range and freaking practice as far as this pistol goes about the price i think i paid 400 something bucks for it it's nice looking to me look at that it's it's great looking you know what i'm saying it's pretty nice the finish is nice and everything so i give it a seven out of ten just because there's no color for the front sight not adjustable it's pretty rigid the trigger's rigid i mean i don't know if you can see it but it's really not it's not rounded and they do have serrations in there stuff like that and the checkering on the, the hammers like seriously you know but other than that so like i said i give it what did i say seven out of ten yeah on a look the look factor i give it a 10 out of 10 because it looks freaking pretty awesome right on the way it feels as far as the trigger the trigger pull and all that i give it like a maybe a six out of ten so on that so i got three more left we're gonna go back here and i'm going to shoot these last three of these 357 mags and then uh we'll be done Oh yeah, so if you're still this far into the video, still watching, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So if y'all want to help me out, get me up to that thousand mark, that'd be great. I think about 930 something. So that'd be kind of cool. So here we go. All right, ready, sir? Yep. Going at the bottom target again. There you go. All clear. And if you happen to like my video, like some of these videos or whatever, go check out the rest of my videos. I got maybe a hundred or so videos uploaded. Well, other than that, yeah. You know, it is what it is. So overall, seven out of ten. Look factor, ten out of ten. Trigger, six, seven out of ten. Other than that, it's not bad. And that short barrel will get you nice and close. Maybe you can put it in your pocket, carry around. Ain't gonna print too much, but who you know? Not too many people really look, at, stare at people's pockets. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, stay safe out there, everybody.